being turned from being an ordinary piano into an uh, into a work of art. So yes. this is a sculptural artwork. Yeah. Uh, and then when people play the pianos, you know, that's another form of art. So yes. people are then, t the public, turned turn themselves into street performers, and that's really exciting. The news went right around the world, and from then we were invited to another 30 cities. Not, you know, not all those cities, cities so were able viral. to. It's viral. It's a kind of viral thing, yeah. Why the piano um, versus I don't know, a harp, a oboe, I mean, some, maybe some more obvious, but even <laughs> yeah, yeah. just drums, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like bongo drums or something. That's Why very piano? true. Well, I suppose with a piano is they, um, if you know a tune, you can more or less find that tune and play it. With bongos, you're kind of limited, aren't you, to bashing it. Uh, <laughs> but also a piano is a piece of furniture that people can gather around. It can be decorated. It's really hard to steal a piano, unlike a sort of Stradivarius violin. Yeah, play all the black notes, you'll be fine. Okay. Hey, that was sounding pretty good. Were you actually yeah, playing? If you play anything, it'd be fun. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Mine, no, we're not doing this. this is, if my parents saw it, it would be really bad. We need this part in there. It's difficult to say no sometimes to, to, to presenting this artwork because the public really enjoy it, you yeah. know. And the people of San Jose have never experienced the artwork before, so who am I to deny them that nice experience? Because it's a lot of fun. from Hungary. Uh, I've just uh, yeah, put 10 pianos there in a place called Pest uh, for the European Capital of Culture and, uh, and here I am here and the, yeah there are 20 uh, pianos right across um, San Jose and they're for anyone to play. They act as a sort of blank canvas for everyone else's creativity. This started about two years ago, 2008. Um, over all the cities and places that you put pianos are there any cultural differences or things that have happened in different cities um, yeah, yeah, yeah. that didn't happen in others? It's, it's funny. I mean, um, well, in Sao Paulo, there are people there who'd never seen a real piano before. So we had kind of people traveling three or four hours to come and play a real piano. Um, I came across a mother and a daughter at a train station, and the mother had worked as a cleaner for four years to be able to send her daughter to piano lessons on the other side of the city. But a piano over there cost $1,000, which is like a year's wage for some people. So they, they couldn't afford a real piano, and after four years of working as a cleaner, she'd never actually seen or saw her daughter play the piano before. So for the first time ever, you know, her daughter sat down and played the most beautiful piano for her, for her mum who cried, you know, it was really wonderful. In San Jose, there's a zero tolerance on graffiti and tagging and all that sort of stuff. So there's been some kind of issues, you know, we've had these conversations with the city council who want to take away the pianos. Uh, anything that's been tagged they're, they're threatening to remove them. Because um, they're afraid it might encourage others? Because, areas, it's, because it's tagging in public, yeah. uh, in the public property. But for me, it's, a, it's an artwork. It's not a part of the public um, uh, domain. It's only yesterday that um, I saw a policeman issuing a, a, a fine uh, to a homeless man here for sleeping in the park. Yeah. So, uh, whereas to me, you know, if you can sleep in a park, it's a sign that, that the architecture and, and that, the, that, it, that it's safe, that it's a safe and good place to, yeah. to do that. And so actually, I'm thinking we, could, we should have a big mass sleepover in the park <laughs> as a... Uh, and play the piano. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and encourage all the graffiti artists to come down and paint them up. So now for our Stark Threes. First up, what's your favourite beer or wine? Uh, I just like a local bitter. Wherever it's produced is is just great, and um, yeah, preferably warm and in a pint glass and on top of a piano. That's that's how you like it. Um, how about your favorite dish, food, something you love to eat? I like sushi. Yeah, sushi is good. Where do you lost sushi answer? That's my favorite. What's your favorite like sushi? You know, are you a raw fish or are you teriyaki kind of person? No, raw fish. Yeah, okay, yeah, good, yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. That's the that, real. That's proper sushi. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And what? Any fish? Any certain? Oh, anything. Type? Yeah, uh, preferably in Japan. You've got to be in a little, uh, <laughs> in a, in one of those really narrow little restaurants yes. in Tokyo, and uh, yeah, it's good. Absolutely, can't disagree with that one. And finally, what's your favorite gadget? Ooh, gadget. Oh, it's hard to know, isn't it? There's so many lovely gadgets out there. Oh boy, you sound like someone else I know. <laughs>
I don't know, I'd probably say an iPhone, but I haven't got one. That's probably why it's my favorite. That's interesting. <laughs> so you desire what you don't have yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I started when I was four, but I stopped. Um, I haven't played for so long, actually. This was the first time I even touched a piano in three years. Wow. Yeah. So um, I was classically trained by a Russian. So a Russian. lots of lots of rulers <laughs> being hit. I think I actually might still have kind of right there. You can't really see it. Yeah. <laughs> but she used to hit me in the hand with a ruler. Holy crap. Yeah. It worked though. You played beautifully. <laughs> Russia. No, Russia. You have no rulers. <laughs> no rulers. <laughs> no, I'm from well whereabouts? I knew you from England. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Bristol. Bristol. I lived in Reading for a little bit. Okay. Don't call. Yeah, there's a map where 